Welcome back to Kwesi Ball TV. Thank you so much for joining us for another edition. I appreciate you all. Please share, subscribe, like. I want to thank all the new members. I want to thank all the new viewers. And of course, our regulars. Thank you so much for always being there for us. Guys, today I'm going to make it a quick review. You know, today is, um, I mean, you know, it's LFC vibes. We're just going to discuss the Champions League match that's coming up tomorrow versus Napoli. Our guys are already in Naples. Uh, also, there was a um, uh, few matches today that we would talk about it real quick. I didn't get a chance to watch all of them. I watched mostly the City and uh, Chelsea games. Uh, but please share, subscribe, get our names out there. We appreciate you guys. Uh, in terms of the review of the EPL, apologies, I didn't do it on this channel. I did it on the Jamie Phillips on the Jamie Phillips um, football talk. Uh, he was gracious enough to have me on his channel, so we did like a two and a half hours review on a Monday. We talk about everything from FSG out to also a little bit about the review. So check his channels out, okay? Jamie Phillips, he do he's doing great things out there. Uh, so that's why I wasn't here. And right now it is hot. This side of the pond, it is hot. I mean, it looked like somebody cracked a window from hell and temperature on my side was 117 today that's how bad it is so i'm going to do this quick i'm not going to waste your time uh lmc has napoli uh we don't know what the lineup is but in my assumption i'm pretty i'm thinking that the people who did not start against everton will get a chance to start against napoli so that means rob will be back in uh trent i don't think trent was injured i think Klopp wanted to rest him because of the napoli so he had an eye on the napoli one but if it was me i I won't play Trent. I will, I will play Gomez. But also playing Gomez is a little bit risky because you know what usually happens when he's bombing there. There's a lot of, most of his injuries come in when he's playing right back. So, but on my my lineup, I will play Matic and Van Dijk. Robo on the left. Of course, Trent is back. In the midfield, I know it's going to be Fabino on a six as usual. On the right, it's probably going to be, I think on the right, he's going to pull Milner. He's going to pull Milner and then on the left, he's going to pull Thiago. He just want Thiago to get back on, you know, get back in speed and get his form back, especially his football, you know, playing form back. So I know he's going to start Thiago on the left and then he's going to play Milner on the right. Uh, the reason why is right now, Elliot has been playing too many matches and we can, he's only 19, we can force feed him so much matches right now. Liverpool's going to play a lot of matches. He will need a little bit of rest, but Milner will probably play maybe 55 minutes and then Elliot will come back on. We're not sure about Cavalio because he had that dead leg on, when, on Saturday uh, we know Luta, uh, what's his name, Atamelo. Listen to club today, it seems like he's not going to get a full start. He will get some minutes. I'm thinking 20, 15 minutes, 20, 15 minutes time. That's why I think Klopp, listen to him. It looks like he's not ready yet. He's not at speed or how Liverpool plays yet. So he doesn't want to rush him. So I'm thinking maybe he will be the one who replaces Thiago. I'm thinking Thiago will probably get about 65 to 75 minutes game time. And then Melo will take over. And the front three will probably be Diaz, Bobby, and then Salah. Now, if it was me, I would play Nunes and play um, Jota on the left. Salah could get about 50, 65 minutes and then bring uh, Diaz in. Salah needs to rest. He's playing way too much matches. We know he's a little bit out of form and it's not like he's majorly out of form. It's just he's Liverpool are in a transition of changing the way we play right now. So most of our guys who are consistent have to make some changes to bring in the new one. You know, we talked about this on the Jimmy show is because Klopp wants Nunes to be playing through the middle, he needs enough space. So Salah and Diaz Diaz have to be playing on the line. You know, back in the day, they were both tucked in. And if they are tucked in, Diaz can be running around because he's going to be running into them. So they're going to spread them apart so that Diaz can run through the middle and all that kind of stuff. So I think it's going to be Bobby, it's going to be Salah, and then it's going to be Diaz. I know Nunes will get some playing time, and of course, Jota also gets some playing time. So in, a, in all a way, we are back into full fitness. Yes, Cavalio has a dead leg, so we don't know what, how extent, in the, you know, the pain threshold is. But, you know, I think by the weekend, he should be back. Now, we have a little issue with another set injury. We were told it's not that serious. It's just a reoccurring calf muscle injury of uh, Jones. And it's very worrying because he's too young to begin these type of injuries. Because when you get it once, muscle injury, especially the calf muscles, it, it keeps real caring and real caring, you know, especially when you're in a team like Liverpool who that runs a lot, especially the midfield and plays a lot.
lot of games. So I'm hoping that he will recover soon and it does not become an issue with him. So he, I don't think he is even going to uh, be Napoli. That's our lineup. The game is going to be exciting. You know, Napoli, the stadium is a cauldron out there. The fans are rowdy. It makes up for an entertaining match. And I'm pretty thrilled that I'm pretty sure they're going to be playing aggressively. They're going to come at us and Liverpool has to be able to control the tempo of the match. Our transition from defense to midfield to attack has to be flawless because that's what has been our problem lately, especially when we play with newness because everybody just want to keep launching, launching, launching. You know, maybe now that Thiago's there, there will be better transition between the midfield to the attackers and especially to newness. So that's what we will talk about Liverpool. That's the LFC vibe. Uh, we're going to do a quick rundown on what happened today. There was a few matches. Chelsea lost to Zagreb Dynamo. I don't know how. It was like first 13 minutes and they score and Chelsea could not able to assault their defense. These guys played defense almost uh, flawless. The Chelsea did score, you know, a, a pass from Chewell to Oba, but the new intelligent uh, offside system was shown and it's pretty nice. It looks pretty nice. So the World Cup, we're going to be seeing this. We're going to see it pretty much during this Champions League, but the World Cup is when they're going to fish unveil it and hopefully the EPL can use it because right now their refs are making so much mistakes it's embarrassing. Uh, Dortmund beat Copenhagen 3-0. PSG Mbappe scored two goals you know a couple passes from I think a pass from uh, Neymar Neymar it was a beautiful pass. PSG on a mission. Now I want to see if that's what they're going to be able to finish this mission because every year they are like this and then when it comes to the big boys they fall apart. Milan and uh, FC Salzburg tied 1-1. One, one. Uh, Celtics got beat up by Real Madrid. Uh, Vinicius scored a goal. Hey, the boy has it. I thought the man was gone. Came back to life. Scored a goal. And of course, Man City put the foot up in Sevilla's. You know what? Uh, the boy Haaland scored another brace. I think Folding scored a goal. And then in the last minute, 92nd minute, Diaz also put a ball in the back of the net. So that's what you got, guys. Thank you so much for joining the game. Share our name out there. Subscribe. Like. Thank you so much. Crazy Bold. Archie. Peace.